Hey everybody, it's Mr. Parker live from my backyard where I think the weather is not cooperating. So we're gonna move inside for today's lesson. All right, much better and much warmer. Here I am live from my living room for today's lesson. Last time we talked about I messages and how we can get our feelings across by owning them and saying, I feel frustrated when. But today we're gonna to talk a little bit more about what exactly a feeling is and how different feelings look and feel on our bodies. A feeling is the way our body reacts to something. For me, as you all know how I feel about traffic, when I'm in traffic, I get so mad. I clench my fists, my eyes get a little bit smaller, and it feels really mad in my body. On the other hand, when I think about eating dessert or playing music, I feel really happy. I get a big smile and it feels good. Today, we're gonna to talk about how we can understand our feelings and then be more in control of them. Let's start with the feeling of happiness. We're gonna call it the green zone today. For me, happiness looks like a big smile on my face. It feels good inside. I might even be jumping or skipping around the room I'm so happy. We can go into the next color and feeling, which is the yellow zone. If you get a little too happy or a little too silly, you might be a little bit out of control and that would be in the yellow zone. Running around, jumping, playing soccer and tag is awesome when you're outside with your friends, but can you imagine what that would be like in the classroom? It would be out of control. That's how we know that that's in the yellow zone and not the green zone. Sometimes we can feel a little sad. So our next feeling we're gonna talk about is the blue zone, which is sad. When I'm feeling sad or in the blue zone, I look down at the ground, I talk a little quieter and I can feel either in my head, a headache or sick or in my stomach, I don't feel very well. The blue zone we're gonna talk about today is just sad feelings, sick feelings, tired feelings and low energy. Another feeling that we're gonna talk about is the red zone or being out of control. Sometimes we can be so mad that we scream or we yell or we do things that we didn't really mean but we weren't in control of our bodies and able to, to handle it. You might have gotten really mad this week if you lost a video game or if your brother or sister just kept getting on your nerves. When we get out of control and in the red zone, it can be dangerous for the people around us. As we think about all of these feelings, I want you to think about what it looks like on you because it can feel different for different people. Some people, get so happy that they cry. Some people get so angry that rather than being out of control and throwing things, they get completely silent and don't say anything at all. In the comments below, post how it makes you feel in your different zones. The blue zone, where we're sick, sad, or tired and have low energy. The green zone, where we're feeling good, great, and happy. The yellow zone, where we're feeling a little bit out of control. Things like, feeling anxious or nervous, or even being silly. And finally, the red zone, where we're really out of control. Post those in the comments below, and now we're gonna sing our song. I smile when I'm happy, I'm frowning when I'm sad. It's the little things that get to me that I know I'm feeling mad. I'm can feel it in my body when I'm clenching my fists and my face is turning red no I can't hear you I don't know what you said I'm in the red zone and I'm out of control if I'm feeling tired and sad without a clue I bet I have low energy and my color, it's blue. I could be sad or just need another nap. That's why it's important to know how you're feeling, reading your body and the energy you're dealing with. Then you can use your skin. Right. Your homework today is to think about 
the different zones, the different feelings, and how they look on you. Because remember, they can look different on everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy the snowy weather, and I'll see you next time.